Yeah. I've been doing chemical face peelings since 1970. I first discovered it in a salon I was working in when the owner told me that this, and working with our acne clients, would bring all of the infection to the surface. It's my all-time favorite treatment. I know of people who have opened salons that do nothing but peelings. Now, I can't tell you in pounds what they charge, but this treatment, many salons get anywhere from $500 to $850. So you can figure that out if you want. And the reason is, it's a very professional treatment. It definitely causes a peeling. And the client has to spend a lot of time with you. A lot of time, like th almost three hours a day for three days in a row or four days. This is all she does and all you have to do. What I'd like to do right now is uh, you wait 90 minutes and you take it off and she goes home. But that's it. Nothing else. No massage, no steam. Now what I would like to do is, so that you know what I'm talking about, I'd like to show you the slides first. Then as I talk about something, you'll say, yes, that's what I saw. Notice how shiny the skin is here. Very colorful, very shiny. Notice how dull it is here. Very dull, almost like there was a film on it. There is a film on it. The film is this little patch right here of dead skin. As you know, several times a year, a snake uh, sheds its skin. And it rubs its body against uh, pieces of wood, stone, rocks, or whatever it can to help uh, remove it. This process can sometimes take more than a day. I mean, it just doesn't happen in five minutes. They work their way out of their skin. And what is left underneath is a beautiful, well, I don't know if you call it a skin, but you could see the difference in uh, the This color. is a gentleman that is a makeup artist in Hollywood. His name is Mark Richard. And um, this treatment was done in his home by me when I was out in California one year doing seminars. Um, so he has draped his head and I think he looks perfectly fine. There's nothing that much wrong with his skin. But wait till you see the, f look how dull it is though. Wait till you see the final picture. Oh, the skin turns very dark. Very dark is the first day it turns very pink. The next day it's a pinker, then it gets red. By the middle of day two or the end of day two or day, morning of day three, the skin begins to look tan. That's if you're Caucasian or have a light this skin. This is day five. Now normally the skin would look like this on day three or four. For some reason, his skin uh, was a little resistant, but as you can see, resistant, you could see that it has started to peel. Here's a nice spot. Here it is peeled away. It always peels around the mouth first. It peels back toward the hairline you can see it has not even started on the forehead yet. The reason it hasn't started on the forehead or the nose is there's very little movement in the skin. The movement of the mouth and the cheeks as you eat and talk help to loosen the skin. The area where you have a lot of bone or cartilage, like your nose, uh, it's much more, it takes a longer time for it to start to peel. Here you can peel. see how it has started to peel from his eyebrows up. You could see how the skin here looks like parchment paper, very, uh, very dry, almost like a severe sunburn, peeling back beautifully on his skin. Notice he has not shaved because a man cannot shave uh, when this peeling is going on. It is also best to tell a man to shave the night before a peeling because the skin is very sensitive if he shaves at home and then comes into the salon and you apply this treatment cream over a, ver a fresh, it would be like putting it on your legs after you shave them. The skin is very sensitive. But also notice how much clearer his, his skin already looks here as compared to the first photo. You can already see an improvement. Now. The skin will be shiny for a few days, as remember, it's the dead cells lying on the surface of your face that makes it look dull. But when you take off the epidermis, the skin underneath is shiny, and for a few days, he will have this shiny look. This is um, a woman, her name is Betty uh, St. Martin. 
Uh, her husband um, is a doctor, and uh, he wanted to do the peeling on his wife. One of the things that helps a lot on a darker skin is all these little markings and discolorations on the forehead, which are more common for some reason because of the melanocytes on a black skin than on a white skin. And very often uh, takes weeks to fade away if you have a blemish, a pimple or a, you know, with infection that comes to the surface, it leaves a dark mark for many months. And you very often have to use bleach creams in order to lighten them up. But this is the before picture. And this is probably, uh, you can see it has started to peel right here around the mouth. And this is probably day, the end of day two, maybe the morning of day three. The next slide is really my favorite slide of all the slides I've ever taken. Because it shows her at the height of peeling and you can see how heavy it peels. You will never get this with alpha hydroxy acid or any other product that you use in your salon. Nothing will do this that you can buy on the market for your salon. It is the only product that an esthetician that can, can use that will do this to the skin. Now in the United States we have the FDA which controls all of our products and tells you whether they can go on the market or not. They have to approve everything. This product was on the market one year before the FDA came into being. So it was already being used when they came on the market. If it wasn't, there's a chance they would not have approved it for the esthetician, but only for the physician. So they sat back and they wait to see how many complaints they have. And here we are over 60 years later, and they haven't touched it. They inspect the lab quite often. Um, they check the records, they check the ingredients, they check the formulations. Never a problem with the FDA. Uh, they don't get letters, they don't get calls, they get nothing. And so for 60 years since they came into being, they've left us alone, which is a very good sign. And this is Betty afterwards, and the one thing that I objected about for this photograph was she was made up, and I wanted a picture of her skin without makeup. And I asked her husband about this who took the photographs. Now, this is what she is wearing, which is very common with dark skins in the United States. Some makeups will make the skin look very ashy. And it's very hard to find a foundation that really blends in well. But if the woman has a very nice complexion, she can put a moisturizer on her face and then use a darker translucent powder a powder rather than a foundation. Her skin was moisturized, powdered, then blush on was added. It was a, uh, not a cream blush on, a, uh, um, a pressed blush on, and the rest of her makeup. She is not covering her skin with a foundation, although it would have been nicer had he done the picture without any makeup at all. But he just wanted a beautiful picture of his wife, and I think she turned out, you know, rather lovely. This is a picture that um, was sent to me by um, Drew and Andrew. They're uh, somebody you probably know here in the UK. A woman that had a problem, blemish skin. This is the, uh, these, uh, this treatment, of course you can't miss this or this, and what's happening here on her chin. She has a horrendous skin. This is a major problem. But within seven days, remember it takes uh, more than seven days for something like a pus-filled blemish to heal. But look what has happened in just seven days. You can imagine how she looked a week or two later. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to tell you now when I step back to the podium, what is happening underneath the skin, deep in the skin, what the skin is doing that will clear out all of her acne, or 90% of it, within four to five weeks. It will automatically surface. It triggers something deep in the skin that makes the skin fight back to recover from what it feels is a trauma or an emergency. 
Because remember, we burned her face mildly, and I'm using the word burn, because it, I would have to say that for there to be a trauma or a shock to her system, that the skin fights back from underneath to help it recover. And what it does, I will explain to you in a few minutes, is what makes this heal so fast. Look how even that doozy that she had uh, on the lower part of her face is absolutely flattened and now is just healing normally.